Not sure what to do with that big wall outside your home? A vertical garden may be exactly what you need to spruce it up. The main difference between a vertical garden compared to a regular one is that the plants climb up instead of grow at ground level. Use these vertical gardening ideas to create a garden all your friends will be talking about. The first step would be to get everything ready. There are some basic vertical gardening supplies you'll need to get started. You need to buy a wooden pallet, some landscaping paper, a few bags of potting soil, some sandpaper, a staple gun with plenty of staples, a hammer with plenty of nails and of course, the plants you want to grow. First you need to get the pallet ready for planting. You can do this by using your sandpaper to smooth out any rough spots on your wooden pallet. Some pallets are built stronger than others. If yours looks like it may be old or not as strong as you'd like, feel free to nail on some scrap wood to strengthen and support it. To keep it looking beautiful it would be best to nail the scrap wood to the back of the pallet instead of the front. As soon as you are positive your pallet will be strong enough to support the weight of your plants and their soil you can begin on the next step. Now you can attach your landscaping paper to the pallet. You may want to fold the landscaping paper over two to three times depending on its strength and quality. All your vertical gardening ideas will go to waste if you don't have a strong enough garden to hold it all together. Next use your stapler to connect the paper to the back and bottom sides of your wooden pallet. Make sure to staple the corners extra well. This is not a time to scrimp on the staples, be generous with them. If you don't attach your paper well enough you'll lose some of your soil when you turn it up on its side. You can finally fill your pallet with your potting soil. Simply open up the bag and get pouring. If you have some small potting soil bags, simply cut open the corner and pour it through the cracks of your pallet. If your soil bag is large, you can cut it and then use a shovel to move it into the pallet. Just be sure that your pallet is filled with soil all the way up to the top. You don't want to pack it all in though, you want to leave room for your plants to go in. Now you can make your vertical gardening ideas come to life. It is time to add your plants. You don't want to add ones that are too mature, but you don't want them too young and too fragile either. Small seedlings should be perfect for you to easily get planted in the crack. Perennials are the best because they won't need to be replanted every season. If your pallet is really big you might want to consider adding an irrigation system to it. This is quite easy to do. All you need are two pieces of PVC pipes. Then you drill holes every inch down a single side of them and then place them along the outsides of your pallet. Then all you need to do is pour your water down the pipes and you can rest easy knowing that the plants at the bottom of your garden are getting all the water they need. As you can see these vertical gardening ideas are quite easy fun and inexpensive to do. This will add a nice new dimension to your yard that will add beauty for years to come.